Welcome to the ancient city of Bhubaneswar, the city of temples in the state of Odisha on the eastern seaboard of India for the second installment of the only fixture on in match week seven of the FI Chockey Pro League. It's India up against Australia in the men's competition. Well, this is the third match weekend for both sides. India having played the Netherlands and Belgium while Australia have also played the world number one side Belgium and Great Britain. India gave so much in that final quarter yesterday, but ultimately undone by their performance in the first three quarters. Australia and that man there, Lachlan Sharp in particular, were excellent for the first three quarters and just a couple of percentage points off in that final quarter. Here are the la league standings coming into this one. The world number one side, Belgium, lead the way from the world number four side, the Netherlands. And then it's Australia and India. Australia's win yesterday, uh, taking them above India in the table. A win for either side would take them second. Australia, if they get a bonus point win, would also go second. In the head-to-head, -head, well, it's Australia that to dominate uh, this m meeting. Uh, currently, yesterday was their 23rd win in the last 31 between them. But as you can see, uh, the goal times mapped India's performance yesterday. They got better throughout the game and were excellent in quarter four. Australia dominant, as I say, in the first three quarters. Let's have a look at the goals from yesterday. That was the opener from uh, Wotherspoon and then a fine finish from Tom Wickham. India needed a goal, and this was a really well taken goal by Raj Kumar Pal. Down the other end, Lachlan Sharp got the goal that his uh, performance merited. And Anderson feels sliding it under the keeper. Pal second. And then Rupinda got the third to make it a nervy last eight minutes or so for the Kookaburras. But in truth, they held on to get the win that they deserved. So that was from yesterday. Let's uh, hear what the coaches uh, had to think of yesterday and their thoughts ahead of this match here this evening, match two of this installment. We have with us Graham Reed, head coach of the Indian men's national hockey team. Graham, after this match, we don't play at home for a while. In that context, how important is this encounter today? And if you were to change one thing from yesterday, what would that be? <laughs> yes, yeah, very simple, that one. That's a better start. <laughs> so uh, yesterday, we, we were looking for, for a good uh, good start and make sure that we, uh, that, that we do things with our early um, possibilities. And, uh, and we didn't do that. Or, or, um, and so today, we, we really need to, to start with well and um, and go from there it's a la our last game in front of the, this uh, our home crowd as you say for a little while I, mean, I think our next one's in May so we're going to make sure that we, that we come out well and uh, and finish off good luck Graham thank you we have with us Colin Batch head coach of the Australian men's national hockey team Colin first up congratulations on the result yesterday but playing India today they're going to come at you hard where do you think the game will be won, won or lost today yeah, we're expecting a, a, another tough game. We controlled the game for three quarters yesterday, but uh, fell away in that last quarter. So we know that uh, the breaks uh, in any match can change the momentum, so we've got to control that better. Colin, all the best for today. Thank you. Your thoughts there of both coaches. And here come the two umpires, Cohen Van Bunga was out on the field yesterday, but Ravi and Banathan from Malaysia was in the video umpire box, but he's on the field today. And it's Simon Taylor who swaps from field to video umpire, uh, should we require him. So fans are ready, and here come Australia, who would have learned a thing or two from yesterday. They would have been pleased that they took most of their chances in those first three quarters, because ultimately that gave them enough to get over the line and get the win when India found their form, their rhythm, their pressure in that final quarter. India, well, they last beat Australia in regulation time back in 2016, a 3-2 win down in Bendigo in Australia. It's been a long time since then. And as their coach, Graham Reid, alluded to, it has to be a much better start for them here today. 
Now the sides are out, but before we go to uh, the national anthems, we have to have the VIP handshake. And uh, conducting that is Sri Avi, IPS Director General of Police Odisha. On the right of the screen, accompanied by Ms. Alana Norman, the CEO of Hockey India. Eddie Ockenden with the captain's armband today after Aaron Zalewski wore it yesterday. No change, obviously, for India. Manpreet Singh, the newly crowned FIH Men's Player of the Year for India. So, handshakes done. Time for the national anthems. Starting with Australia's and then moving to India's. And then we'll bring you all the team news ahead of this second game. Please remain standing for the national anthem of India. Sabhi se nivedan hai ki Bharat ke rashtra gaan ke liye khade rahe aur saath me gaayin. So let's get down onto the park for the coin toss. Can Van Bunga with it? Yes, it is. You have the ball? Yeah. Yeah? Right. Very good game, boys. Pretty much the same as yesterday. In your state. That's uh, right hand end attacking the goal to our left. Australia will start with the ball. And, uh, well. And shakes for the umpires as well. And now Australia. Let's have a look at the side. India make four changes to the squad that lost game one. Dilpreet, Sunil, Garinda and Akash Deep are rested. While number four, Jarmanpreet, 18, Nila Kanta, 29, Chinglan Sana and 31, Ramandeep all come in. Srijesh starts in goal for India today. But expect Patak to play callers two and four. The back four is Amit, Virendra, Harmanpreet and Surrender. Chinglan Sana sitting just in front of them. Manpreet and Raj, the forward two midfielders. The front trio of Vivek, uh, Simranjit and Lalit. There is the bench that uh, coach uh, Reid has to call upon. Well, as for Australia, they make two changes uh, to yesterday's squad. Corey Weir, Tom Wickham arrested. Well, number seven, Nathan Ephraims and 29, Tim Brand come in. Lovell starts in goal, starting back four of Harvey Howard, Hayward and Ockenden is the same as 24 hours ago, as is the midfield trio, Wett and Zalewski and Beal. Well, up front is a glimpse of the future of Australian strikers. 20-year-old Ephraims wins his second senior cap alongside 22-year-old Lovett, who wins his third. Trent Mitten winning number 172 adds the experience. 
Sharp, Dawson Anderson, Feltz, Wallerspoon, Brand and Charter are on the bench for Colin Batch's side. Former teammates up against each other, Graham Reid and uh, Colin Batch. Colin Batch taking over the reins of the Cookabas from Graham Reid after the Rio Olympics. Colin Batch, the newly crowned FIH Coach of the Year, Men's Coach of the Year. Congratulations to Colin on that award. And we are almost ready to get this game underway. The scoreboard counts us down for India against Australia. Australia in their golden green, attacking the goal to our right-hand side. India in the blue outfit. And Chinglin Sana brings it down and almost gets Australia uh, injured away with their first attack, but it breaks down. Zaluski up that right-hand side. Across it comes, early doors, and uh, almost a chance right at the start. Short corner as it's put over by Ockenden. There was almost another disastrous start for India. 29 seconds in, and Australia could well be in front. Just there, Ockenden couldn't quite convert as Daniel Beale almost uh, opened the Indian defence for him. Three penalty corners yesterday for Australia, didn't uh, convert any. Beale to inject. Trent Mitten on the right-hand castle. It's Jeremy Haywood on the left-hand castle. It goes to Haywood. Good save, Shrijesh. And he marshals the defence. Australia get the restart on the 23. Let's have another look. Haywood gets hold of it. Swedish knocking around the post with that right pad by the looks of things from that angle. So Lewski will play forward. Couldn't quite come off for Harvey. And Australia enjoyed plenty of space in that uh, India 23 yesterday. That's another thing, surely India will look to try and improve upon. Can ill afford to give the Kookaburras that much time and space in the 23. And that straight dash at the body on ground on the Left glove of Shrijesh Lalit wins the free hit, which Surrender Kumar will take. Dropping it back to Barendra Lakra, who thought about going to the right hand side. Barendra playing it forward, and there is Harvey to uh, cut it out, but it's an India ball. It's uh, Barendra once more. And Simranjit drags his shot wide of the post. So, sighters at both ends inside the opening two minutes. Simranjit working well. Perhaps they would have liked the penalty corner, but advantage played for that shot. Zalewski. Looking to spin out, but under a bit of pressure from uh, Chin and Sana. So, he goes all the way back to. Peel's got acres of space, but defensive work for Ari Rodas as Ephraim's threatened to steal in front. Peel into the circle, chance here on the reverse stick, over the top. Ball from him, and an equally loose ball from Whiten, and Andy will now try their luck down that right hand side. Ramon deep with the miss trap, and it's going to be a free hit outside a bit further back, which is taken by Hardy. Ramon deep 
Nice skill from him. Bill gives away the free hit. Ching Lin San. Another counter, sorry, takes. Across it comes, the deflection. Watch behind. Oh, Tyler Lovell. Manfred. Change of shoes from yesterday. Black shoes yesterday. There are some uh, orange slash pink ones today. Armand Preet. Another cross field aerial ball and a chance here. They can get the ball in. No, good defensive work by Dawson. Armand Preet. Hardy. Here's the free hit off Beal, Hardy, into the circle, takes a deflection, and that's going to go upstairs to see who that touched. The way India reacting, I would suggest it's come off an Australian player. And India, save for umpire and both on the uh, trouble. And that's a good sportsmanship from India. I realise they didn't get the touch. Inside the circle, little canter. Zalewski. Here's Brand. And much more zip about India in these early stages compared to 24 hours ago. Here wins the free hit of Amit. And we'll just leave it. Let's have another look as it's played in by Hardik. Looks like he gets the touch off Wetton, is it? As it goes straight in, Hayward was the other Australian in front of Tyler Lovell. Zalewski. Ockenden. Covering from Manpreet. Dawson. Quite close to it, so he'd keep that crossfield pass. Belt stopping it out. Howard. Dawson. Sit from the ball from Australia. Sharp wins the free hit, which he takes. No, he's going to leave it. He's going to step forward. Dawson's going to. Wind up to put this one straight into the circle. Looking at the deflection. Just away from Ephraims, who was coming in on that far post. No, it wasn't, because there he is now, talking to Connor Patch. Ockenden, Brand into the circle, they've worked it to the goal line now, trying to get it across, Ephraims wins the penalty corner. Jackson slot and it's Dawson now on the left hand castle as we look Howard on the other one goes to Dawson Dawson with the slap Agnes at the top of the circle, Dawson once more, takes it a long way forward, it's behind uh, the keeper and it's put in. 
It's Sharp who has given Australia the lead. The breakdown in the Indian circle. Going to go upstairs. Just listen him. Yes, good. Can you please check? The goalies claim that the player of Australia was on him, so obstruction. They're looking for obstruction. Okay, I'll check for obstruction. Interesting. He's just saying there was a player on top of him. Is that right? Let's have a look. The breakdown. Dawson takes it a long way into the circle, so it gives the number one runner a chance. Everyone's missed it. Sri just misses it. Not sure there's any player on him. Oh, there. Does Beal really move into Sri Jesh's path? Let's see, Beal stationary. Sri Jesh moves into him. He steps away from Sri Jesh. Well, Simon Taylor has to. Side. Uh, Kuhn, yeah. I have a decision for you. There is a obstruction by the Australian player, so it is a free hit to India and India keeps their Thank you. And the answer is there was an Thanks. obstruction. Well, certainly stopped Srijesh from getting up. Sana. <laughs> Sideline Australia ball. No, India's ball. King Sana. To uh, oh, put him around the back. No, just with defence. Howard, look how hard he works to get into that defensive position. Jarman Preet. Free hit on by Brand. Cerro in conversation with the bench. Dawson. There's your ball, but not on the same wavelength as Sharp. Chingman Sana. Lalit. Another bit of skill from uh, Vivek. This is Harvey. Onto the foot. Patak, reserve keeper today. Well, I say reserve, he's been playing quarters two and four. Closing down from Jarman Creek, just took the deflection and pace off the cross. Dawson. Well, it doesn't give him enough space. Vivek once again against Howard. Sana offers, but he goes for Manpreet. Manpreet into the circle. Here is Ramandeep. Can he get the ball away? No, because there is Brand to get it out of the circle. Brand's ball back didn't have too much pace on it, but Hayward reacted fast enough. Belts down in that corner. Ramandeep wins possession back up to the edge of the circle, twisting and turning. Lovely work from Manfred, and then it just bobbles away from him. Ball comes in here. Good stop from Ramandeep, but it just span away from him in the wrong way.
Hamilton. Brings the free hit. No, he does not. Dawson in conversation. Harman Preet, meanwhile, has taken the free hit. With Pinder, plays it to surrender. Surrender. He's uh, another uh, company. Raj wins the free hit, which Manpreet will take. Manpreet into the circle, and the touch. Raman Deep, I think, gets the touch. And it goes past Tyler Lovell's right hand post. It is indeed Raman Deep who gets the touch. Vivek was also in there in the middle. Beal. Zalewski to the goal line. Zalewski still going. Zalewski. Srijesh makes the save with the sole of his foot. And it's a penalty corner. Raman Preet. He's going to refer this, is he? Here we are going to refer this. Okay, so I'll follow the attacker. Okay. It's been a busy uh, first yes, quarter for yeah, Simon Taylor. Simon? Yes, yeah, okay. can hear you. Please review the situation coming from the back line. Okay, I'll have a look. Thank you. He will. He will. He will. Yeah, but I'll let play on. So, Simon Taylor needs to look at this play. Zalewski's ball. And the claim of that is potentially dangerous. He will. in there, putting it onto the foot of Harman Preet. It's just whether or not that is considered dangerous. You can see the hand goes up. From in he goes. So whatever happens, you don't lose your referral. So let's have so a you look. don't lose your referral. Well, that could be deemed a dangerous stick. Does it come off the arm? It's Mahindra Lakra who has his hand up. Everybody wants the call from Cohen Van Bunga. So is well, so this key brings it down okay. Back of Harman Preet's stick. Comes out, and does it hit the arm of Ephraim's? There. Arm oh, rather than the hand of Ephraim's. We'll have to wait and see. Kuhn? Yes. Uh, there is no clear reason to change your decision. Uh, there's a penalty corner and in India lose their referral. All right, so is it for the foot or is it for the danger? Uh, for the foot. For the foot, okay, thank yes. you. So then you lose your referral, okay? It goes off the foot. Yeah? So Simon Taylor made his decision. India lose their referral. Patak warming up. Hayward now on the left-hand side, Tremitten on the near castle. 
Goes to Hayward. Hayward picks up. And the ball down the bottom. And uh, Srijesh on the floor once again. Makes the save. As well, goes on to the foot of Beal. Hayward to Dawson. Martin is behind him. And, uh, that was uh, well, well kept just. Uh, Australia. Zaluski is standing in the same spot. Across the ball. Harvey brings it down, just has a bit too much on it. That's a free hit. Harvey not given enough space. Nearly counter into the circle. Zaluski. These were the two keepers, that's for sure. Anderson just asking the question whether or not that was too high. And Preet, shave tackle from Lovett. Legal. Humphreet, Humphreet, Humphreet once more, a measured aerial ball over the top, Belts comes across to collect it, and Belts wins the free hit off Amit, which he will take, he goes cross field with his aerial ball, picks out Ockenden, Possession as he runs into Kosa Hibji, then it's one back again. Zaluski, Ockenden, picked up by Brand. Sharp into the circle. Vivek to surrender. Hardik. Hardik round off into Hardik and comes back inside. Has the advantage. Hardik outside the 23. Surrender. Final few seconds of this first quarter. So Nakua wants to get into the circle, does get into the circle. And the hooter goes, and that is the end of the first quarter. And a quarter in which Australia thought they took the lead when Lachlan Sharp put it into the net, but it was overturned on a review by India. And that was the only real gold mouse scramble. India nil, Australia nil. First quarter scoreline. Let's have a look at uh, some of the highlights there from that uh, first half. India certainly better in this opening quarter than they were yesterday. Hayward with a drag flick straight into his uh, or into the midriff to keeper Srijesh. No touch from an Indian player, so no goal. And this is the goal, well, that they thought they had, but feel the judge to have impeded Srijesh. Half a chance for Ramandeep. Maybe Truth never really threatening. And then Anderson just asking the question as Srijesh clears high. Final player of the quarter. The hit and hope from Surrender, which came to nothing.
to a change of keeper for India, as we suspected. Krishan Patak between the posts. Australia, I imagine, will continue with Tyler Lovell. Andrew Charter played the full game yesterday. So, second quarter about to get underway. Anderson. Australia get this second quarter underway. No score in the first quarter. India nil, Australia nil. Far more even first quarter than in game one. Ball forward, picked up by Brand. He in turn finds Anderson. Anderson manages to keep it in play against the Rupinder. Amprit wins the free hit. Indian subs waiting to come on. Jingman Sana spinning away from Mitten. And a nice ball forward from Nilakanta into the top of the circle. First time from Jarman Preet, and it was a good opportunity for him. But he couldn't quite get the first time shot on goal. Lovely ball across from Amit. And Jarman Preet. Right idea. Because I think otherwise Lovell would have been on top of him. First time. Just wide. All on mark, though. And a few alarm bells for Australia. Harman Preet. So just roll the ball back to him. And then just gets muscled off it by uh, Wetton. Infield to Anderson. Anderson rolling it to his left hand side. Mitten. He's the penalty corner. Oh, corner. Number five. Didn't have to break stride. It's up. Pinder and Manpreet closing the gap. Patak into action for the first time. Love it. Jobs over to. Inject. Hayward will pick this up from the top of the circle. And too high. Free hit for India. Running one. Pinder. Mitten playing it forward to Anderson. Anderson in turn is finding Mitten. Mitten goes down. And hits the back of his stick as he just tries to get back up. Skipper's waiting to come back on. So he's going for Sharp and Ockenden. A quick tap on the back of Lutton Sharp, so he will play. Surrender. And Pinder is near side. First time round the corner from Jarman Creek. Cut out by Harvey. Hayward. And he's looking for the help from Harvey, having to take it on himself, and he does well. Brand looking for Wetting, tracking back by Simranjit. And 
A chance here perhaps for Raj. Raj back into the centre. And good work from Belts. Must have gone for a push. Belts legs it off that far side. And a counter. With the drive into the circle. Zalewski. Lovely ball to Ockenden. Hamilton. Tains possession well. Tim Howard to Hayward. Harvey. Hayward on this right hand side. Hayward takes a deflection. No, it doesn't. I thought it might have just nicked the stick of Jarman Freed on the way through. Ephraims couldn't quite get the touch. Jarman Freed down the line. Vivek wins the free hit. Vivek, Jarman Preet, across the face of goal. How about that for defending from Hayward? Love it. Howard, Harvey, Hayward. Not too often you see him mishandle. So it doesn't cost Australia. Zalewski allowed a lot of space. Ockenden, lovely feed. Here is Wetton. Wetton trying to get it strong. No, good tackle from Rupinda. And just free hit. Six minutes of the second quarter gone. India with the best chance of it. Jarman Freed unmarked in the Australia circle. Couldn't get a shot on target. Peel, Peels, and wins the free hit. Zalewski. Here is Beal. Love it. That's the way the three hit. Rivet doing well. Ranges pull forward is loose. Dawson. Chance that Trent Mitten to have a run. Mitten still going. Advantage play, Mitten into the circle. Oh, Mitten beats Sapatak between post and pad. And that is disappointing keeping from Patak. But Trent Mitten breaks the deadlock. Harman Preet in conversation with Kevin Van Banger, but he hasn't got a referral. Trent Mitten. Breaks the deadlock, just shy of the midpoint. And Patak should just not be being beaten there. That's a very soft goal for Patak to concede. In this angle, I'm afraid it's not going to look much better. Look at the space. It's a tiny gap he's got to find, but somehow he finds it. Patek, yeah, disappointed, rightly so. Anderson. Midpoint of the second quarter. Zalewski. Hardik. Vivek. Vivek into the circle. Good tackle by Dawson.
Dawson finds Hayward. Beal. Sharp. Lovely ball to Brand. Brand into the circle. Could be in trouble here, India. Good head up. Where's that going to go? Penalty corner. Abrams playing it back across the face of goal. And yeah, she'll be pretty happy to get away with that because it was uh, looking uh, pretty dangerous at one stage. Hayward with his back to us would be favourite to take this track flick, but it hasn't really been ticking. This is penalty corner number six. First to run one. Athens on the right hand castle, but it is. There is the slip. And Dawson pulls the save from Patak. And uh, Beal just inquires. What the free is given for. And I think Omen Bang has obviously given it for an infringement before whatever Daniel Beal was going to refer. Did try a variation as we thought. As well, the sky slipped to Dawson, but I don't equal to it. There, yeah, he was going for the foot. Parliamentary inside the circle. Fliski. Hands and mouth. That one bobbled away at the first touch. Oh, he's been dispossessed by Lalit. Lalit finds Vivek. Vivek, nice measure ball, and he'll get the return pass. Vivek into the circle. Here is uh, Simranjit. And Dawson gives away the penalty corner. And it is the first penalty corner for India in this contest. on the park tool number three is this their route back into it he is on the right hand castle Harman Creed on the left all the talk about Rupinda it does go to Rupinda and Rupinda equalizes straight through Tyler Lovell And that is what Rupinda Pal Singh can do from the top of the circle. India back on level turns as Rupinda finds yet another goal in the FIH Hockey Pro League. Lovell disappointed. Did this go through his legs? It does. Jim Sana enjoyed that one. Uh, not a lead. Doesn't last long, two minutes in fact. And uh, both keepers will be disappointed with uh, the goals that they have let in. I think Tyler Lovell has uh, a little less to be disappointed about simply because of the uh, pace of the Rapinder um, flick. That's a goal that takes Rupinda at level with Hendricks. Goal standings, Vivek with a nice ball to Hardik. Hardik 
Up against Sharp, Hardik into the circle, still going Hardik, and he wins another penalty corner. And Rupinda will be back in action again. And that was Rupinda's fifth goal. My apologies. And so he is level with Yip Jansen in second place in the scoring charts. Again on the other castle. One penalty corner, one goal so far. This is penalty corner number two. This time they, they changed to Harman Priest. A good number one running. And Mark Brand. And it's a re award. Got hold of that entirely, so be happy to have it. another chance. Vivek, the stopper for Harman Preet. Which way does this one go? Here's to Harman Preet once more, and Harman Preet scores. Well, Australia have dominated in terms of penalty corners, but they've none from six, and India are two from three. Harman Preet. Gives India the lead for the first time in these two matches against Australia. And it is two quick goals. Two goals in two minutes. Tyler Lovell oh, just takes a deflection off Tim Brand. Gives Lovell absolutely no chance. Yes, and Berenda enjoyed that one. And Rupinder happy with his call to give it to his teammate, Harman Preet. Gives India the lead. India two, Australia one, three goals in this second quarter. Sharp, Dawson, Howard. Three for Howard. He's got to be careful he doesn't get his pocket picked. Ramadeep gives away the free hit. That was Harlan Preet's first goal of the FIH Hockey Pro League this season. Started every game that uh, India have played. The return of Pinda to the Indian centre just gives them more options from the top of the circle, some really good options from the top of the circle. Anyway, it's given that one away. Van Van Bunga wants Hayward five. Hayward saying, well, he wants Ramondi to take from the right spot. All right, everyone's happy. Ramondi within the free hit again. Can't quite get it under control to take it as quickly as he would like. Final two minutes of the first half. India two, Australia one. Rendra Lacra shaped to put it into the circle, then took it past. Wetton now gets it back. Berendra Lacra, good skill, and then just drags it out of play. There is Beal. And Nam Preach. Gets away with that one. He's be able to try to take that free hit. Hmm. Accidentally on purpose, I think. Zalewski. Oh, yeah. Just a poor control from Hayward. 
it makes it pop up and it gives away the free hit. Forward, Vivek. There's nearly counter apologies. And counter trying to thread the ball through. And Kim has to leave it to Jake Harvey. Brand. Oh, a lovely turn from Beal. And he feeds Hockenda. Will he get there? He will get there, but it's enough that he's going to take the ball out and India are going to go into the half-time break in front. Australia taking the lead in that second quarter through Trent Mitten in the 23rd minute, but the lead did not last long. India back on level terms. Two minutes later, when Rupinder Pal Singh scored uh, the first of uh, three penalty corners, India won in that second quarter. And then two minutes after that, it was the turn of Harman Preet Singh and that was the goal that gave India the lead, which they take into the half-time break. The half-time score here at the Kalinga Stadium in Bhubaneswar reads India 2, Australia 1.
Hey, welcome back to the Kalinga Stadium in Bhubaneswar. At half time, it's India who have the lead. India 2, Australia 1. Australia taking the lead in the 23rd minute. Uh, Trent Mitten with his 78th senior international goal, but then Rupinder Pal Singh and Harman Preet Singh uh, a brace in two minutes. Uh, in fact, well, there's three goals in four minutes. It was uh, all go in the middle part of that second quarter. Let's have a look at uh, some of the highlights from that first half. And uh, a quiet first half, uh, but Australia in total had six, I should say a quiet first quarter, but uh, Australia had six penalty corners in that first uh, uh, half. Didn't convert any. India had three and converted two. But those are the opportunities. Well, this is also an opportunity if it uh, continues to roll. So obviously had some difficulty with the highlights, but uh, the uh, second quarter where the goals all came from. But as you can see, other than that, it's uh, pretty even Stevens in terms of possession, circle entries and shots. Uh, what they won't see or hopefully we might see a little later on would be the uh, the goals. But it was poor goalkeeping in truth from Kushan Patak in the India goal that allowed Trent Mitten to score. And then uh, it was two good penalty corners. The second one taking a deflection off Tim Brown. Well, let's take you back to last weekend. Uh, New Zealand entertained Spain. And in the first game, it was all about Spain. Rock Oliver giving them the lead in the 12th minute. And then, well, who else? Pearl Kamada in the 51st minute, wrapping up the points. And that's the Howitzer at the top of the corner. 4 1, it finished in game one. And then into game two, New Zealand's Kane Russell giving the Black Sticks the lead early in the second quarter down in Christchurch. And uh, Pokemon making it 3-2, but New Zealand held on to race to their first win in the Pro League, three goals to two. Congratulations to them. Argentina entertained the Netherlands. And uh, in the first game, Marco Preusser gave uh, the Dutch the lead. Another poacher's goal from him. It took, went to a shootout, though. That silly missed. And the Netherlands went on to win it 3-1. Into match two. Lucas Villa gave Argentina the lead. But from 2-0 up, the Netherlands pulled it back to 2 all. It went to a shootout. Preusser beating Vivaldi. And the Netherlands won the second shootout as well. 4-3 to take the bonus point in the shootout. So four points from a possible six for the Dutch on their trip down to South America. Not a bad return at all. But as I say, uh, New Zealand men with their first win in the uh, Pro League last weekend, 3-2 against Spain. We just showed you uh, that second game on that caption, Argentina Netherlands. Argentina Netherlands women. Well, Argentina women won the first game 2 0, but the Netherlands uh, came back in game two to win it 3 1. And then confirmation of yesterday's result here India 3, Australia 4. So the crowd setting themselves down. We're almost uh, ready to go again in the second half and uh, I saw Patak there, keeper for India coming out and uh, credit to him, he made a good save off the back of that mistake that led to Australia's goal in that first half and that's what it's about is uh, bouncing back. No one is perfect, you always make mistakes, it's how you deal with those Graham, mistakes. Not that's the best start Graham. again, but we got stronger and stronger as the half progressed. What did you make of the performance? Yeah, I thought we uh, we built into the into that first quarter. We didn't start, as you say, we didn't start well, which was was not the idea. But uh, but we built into it. And I think we're getting better and better. Um, just trying to keep it simple: pass and tackle. <laughs> Graham, all the best for the second. Thank you. Graham Reed with a smile on his face, as always, pretty much. Uh, nice, lovely gentleman to speak to and deal with. I wonder what uh, Colin Batch made of that. that first half and I think you'll be disappointed with those six penalty corners none converted and uh, Australia a little uh, later out than India and uh, Australia don't seem to be quite as sharp or on point as they were yesterday 
but they've got the second half in which to put that right. And as we saw yesterday, India weren't really at the races for three quarters and almost got something out of the contest. But uh, the 4 1 deficit at three quarter time Colin, is just too half much. Half a dozen penalty Colin corners, now. plenty of circle entries, but you find yourself behind. Slightly disappointed with that statistic? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, India have defended well and we've got to. Uh, you know, we've got to acknowledge that, but uh, we've got to put some um, corners away and opportunities away. We see that uh, India have had a couple and put two goals past us, so we need to do better in that area. Good luck for the second. Thank you. Well, without listening to the words and looking at the body language, it's safe to say Colin Batch seems fairly unimpressed with his side. First uh, half performance, as I was saying yesterday. It's all about can they play well in the second half. One goal deficit, easily doable for the Cuckoo Virus. India get this second half underway, leading Australia by two goals to one. Loose ball, Dawson feeding Beal. And here come Australia, early doors in this second half where's that going to fall Zalewski wins the penalty corner well we heard Colin Batch say that they need to do better in this area well here is the chance to do better good ball across and Preet and Shri just getting in each other's way Ejection spots. Hayward swaps to the right hand channel. Uh, Manpreet charges it down with the uh, use of his foot. Just not happening for Australia at the moment. Dawson moves away to the right. Kind of avoid the number one runner. Hayward now on the left hand castle. More straightforward option. It takes the deflection off oh, Rupinda. Manpri wants to refer it, but he hasn't got a referral. There's no referral. There's no referral. Ravi. <laughs> And Barathan using an umpire's referral. Outside the circle. Danger. Danger. High ball two. Okay, I'll take a look. So we're going to check for the ball leaving the circle. The often are just having. Oh, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. Oh, that's left the circle, okay. Reflection off Manpreet takes it through Shrijesh's legs. Leaves the circle. Manpreet's looking at his side. Now we'll get a better look from this angle, will we? That is high. It does get the back of Manpreet's right hamstring. Oh, the other. Sorry? Just does that other angle with the ball bouncing in the air no, look like it's come out the circle, but in fact it doesn't. Let's have another look. Thank you. For you, it is uh, lifted high into the Indian player. It is a free hit to India. Too high off the back of Manpreet's leg. And so it's another penalty corner. It has uh, come and gone for Australia with no result. Well, no positive result, anyway. Gantz wins the uh, free hit because Simonjit is not uh, far enough away. Sharp. 
finds Beal. Beal comes back inside. Lovely work from Beal. Try to win the penalty corner. Now Simran Jeet. But, uh, didn't find the intended foot. And the canter. Pinder, can he throw this one high? No, keeps it on the ground into Manfred. Manfred on the reverse stick. Just bounces away from Vivek. Dawson. Trying to find Sharp. And Manfred as well. Zalewski. He's opened into his right if he wants. But Zalewski going up that left channel and it's found its way all the way through to Beal. Beal pulls it back. As a penalty stroke for the stick tackle. And um, there's no way they can refer this one. It's been given. And Sharp, yeah, he's had enough. He's had enough. Australia will feel that India have already got away with one by having that uh, goal uh, overturned. And now there's a stroke given. going to be Tim Brand to try and pull Australia level. Srijesh in his way. And Brand misses. He's hit the post. Well, what a let off that is for Australia, uh, for India, sorry. Brand waited for Srijesh to commit and then puts it onto the outside of the post. I can't believe it. Not from the Australia bench. Oh, what an interesting start to the second half. Two and a half minutes in, Australia missed the chance to draw level. Here goes Mitten, Brand. This is Lacra. And the Lacra. Arm and Preet. There's the big aerial. And it's uh, Australia ball on that far sideline. Wins the free hit, love it into the circle. Harmon Freak gets his foot out of the way. Hardy. Okay. Keep it in play. Hardy goes up and over the top, and that's a lovely looking ball, and it just skips away. And that was not far away from being a lovely ball through for Raj to chase. Doesn't like his options forwards. So he spins it out to Tim Howard on that right hand side. Dawson gets it back again. Nice shuts down the option to that right hand side, or certainly the 90 degree ball. And Australia work it down the right flank anyhow. On the sideline ball off Ching and Sana. And it comes. Again, there's Harmon Free. There's the Hibjit. Raj, that's a hitty once more, and that'll be one two down that left hand touchline. Raj playing it forward. Here's a chance for Ramandeep. Ramandeep into the circle, still going Ramandeep, and Lovell makes the save. And it's some lovely stick skill from Ramandeep Singh along that goal line. Takes it to the reverse stick. That's Howard for company. It's Harvey. Still an India ball. Oh, 
of any previous matches. This is the behind the court as well. Australia have scored a number of goals. Second most profitable quarter. Thirty. Thirty-one in the second quarter. And the ball. And one by the watching on. Three hits been taken. Binder. Oh, 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 good work from Howard Dawson. Finds belts. That ball is loose. Amit has possession. Finds uh, Vivek, Vivek into the circle and Dawson. Great tackle from him, good carry. And a lovely ball from Anderson out to that right hand side. And here goes Lovett, Lovett spinning away from Harman Preet, gets his head up, finds the pass. Sharp. Back it comes. And it doesn't pick up by Harvey, here's the chance. And a little jab tackle takes it away from Lovett as he's about to unleash the shot. Mitten playing it back in. Anderson through to Lovett. And Raj, oh, goal scorer yesterday and he's just denied Lovett a goal here. Zalewski, Sharp could run into trouble here, but he plays it onto Lalit. And Manpreet has on, picked wait, up a car, wait. the Indian skipper. Got a green card yesterday, he's got a green card again today. Got the card, didn't see what it was for. Cameron okay, Bunga wasn't happy about something. Shaking his head. Zalewski on the reverse stick. Back stick as it comes across. Sana, Zalewski hunting for the ball. Tumin Sana. <laughs> Gets away with that one. Australia's playing. That's going to be close to turning possession over. And the pace has just gone out this game a little bit. And now. Of Anderson. Maybe full stretch, can't get that, and here's a chance for Nilla Cantor. So Howard reaches across to make the stop, and Alec drags it onto his foot. He goes wet it. Lovely ball inside, and Mitten just wanted it to run across himself, but Rupinda watched the ball and just nicked it back. Lalit trying to go around the outside of Zalewski. Zalewski has the legs just to make him turn back. Lalit. Jarman Preetz. Of Howard's and a free hit to India. And Preet's back in. Which round from Howard? Good pace 
Ross and the transfer of the ball from side to side. And that it's I mean, one of those days. Find the touch. Could all change there, of course. Come on, free kick. Well deserved rest. Howard. Zaluski. Milton. Here we have Zaluski leave it to each other. Howard. Oh, sorry. Sure. One those. And Peyton runs forward down that right-hand side. And uh, getting himself ready for the final quarter. Dawson. Gives away the free hit. Goes to Hitchit. Trying to threaten down that left flank for India. Preet. John Preet for support if he wants. Dispossessed by Trent Mitten, who puts it onto his foot. Dawson goes up and over the top. He can't bring it down, and the chance here. Raman Deep. Vivek to his left. Raman Deep still going. Beal gets back to make the tackle. Vivek. Hardik. Oh, Ramandeep, nice ball, Ramandeep doesn't hit the target. Hardy with a beautiful pass to get Ramandeep in. Ramandeep giving it absolutely everything and missing the target. Lovely ball. Just that first touch when he got stuck between his legs, just made the chance not quite as good as it might have been. Still a decent opportunity for India to make it 3-1. Dawson trying to slide it out to Beal, but Manfred read that all the way, and here's a chance for Gersahiji. Gersahiji trying to make his mind up, which way is he going to go, left or right? And in the end, doesn't go either way, Hayward does Enough, Raman deep, and that's with the jab tackle. And disappointed with himself. And Preet, he's possessed by Watton. And here's Anderson, Beal. Dawson right in front of his own keeper. Maybe doesn't fancy that much. <laughs> He's not going to get it. Dawson. And that's a poor ball from Dawson. And, uh, well, it's not such a good ball from Vivek either. Belts. And the midfield seems to have disappeared in this game. Belts has been allowed to run a long way. And here's the chance on the return. And uh, Brand pins Ephraims as he tries to shoot on the spin. Final few seconds of quarter three. Rindra Lakra. Comes Jarman Preet. And trying to feed it into Ching and Sanuk. Bill gets an important touch. Jarman Preet, Rindra Lakra. 
Rachel Harvey. Taken quickly by Simranjeet. Nice ball in. Tracks the whistle of Karen Van Banger. And there is the three quarter time hooter. And Australia go into the final break in regulation time behind. No addition to the half time scoreline. But Australia had a golden opportunity to equalise. But uh, Tim Brand missed a penalty stroke. And so with just 15 remaining, the scoreline reads India 2, Australia 1. Well, let's have a look then at uh, the highlights and two more penalty corners for Australia. Second one, they thought they'd scored, but it was overturned. Manfred saying it was high after the goal had been given. And then a penalty stroke awarded, which Bram missed. Raman deep. A beautifully well, good save from Lovell. And then here, Dawson with a really important tackle. Zalewski on the reverse stick, that was blown. Brand spinning, hitting Ephraim's on the spin. Ramadeep had another really good chance on that right-hand side, which just ran away from him and he missed the target. Fans inside Kalinga Stadium will be pretty happy. Certainly the Indian fans inside leading by two games to one. The game yesterday really came alight from an Indian perspective in this final quarter. Australia have been nowhere near as dominant as they were 24 hours ago. Can they find the finish to this match that will give them another three points? Or will the spoils be shared? India get the final quarter underway, leading by two goals to one. All the goals coming in a four-minute period in the second quarter. Big news in this game. Australia, two goals ruled out by the video umpire. Martin Sharps for obstruction. And Hayward's penalty corner for height. And Tim Brand missing a penalty stroke. And what a finish that is from Aaron Zalewski. And what a start to the final corner. 32 seconds in. And Aaron Zalewski unmarked in the Indian circle. Deflects it first time past Krishan Patak in the India goal. And Australia a level wetted with the delivery. Zalewski. And Patak gets a glove on it. Does he deflect it in? I think it's going in anyway, but he can't stop it. And Zalewski and Australia back on level terms. Good finish from Aaron Zalewski using the pace of the wet and pass to beat Patak. So, all to play for in this uh, final quarter. Surrender Kumar. Mali, twisting, turning. Uh, bamboozles himself. Clean sheet for him today. Both goals coming on Patak's watch in this one. Beal. Whiten. Dawson gets it back. And over the top. And brought down by Ockenden. The free hit has been knocked away by Vivek. Except no card coming for the Indian number 32. Oh, Mitten just misses the touch. It came off an Indian stick. And that took it away from Mitten. Oh, Mitten, sorry.
and it leaves it. And they jog to this near side, take up his position. Howard. And Ockenden. Ockenden again. Ockenden against Vivek. Vivek with a little tackle. It's allowed to play. Sabuski. Good cut out. Vivek. Hamid. Harman Preet. Harvey. Harvey. Pace on the ball. Howard picks it up. Here, upended by Raj. Jake Wadley seems to have picked up a hamstring niggle. So it's not too bad. Oh, here's a chance. For Australia and Brand couldn't get it out from underneath his feet. Home and deep wins the free hit. for that tackle on Beal. Really might pick one up, but I didn't see the car brandish, but that was him on the naughty step, Ching Sana. This near side. Hockenden. Hayward. Belts. He can't bring it under control. Harmon Creek can. Possessed by Mitten, Hamid, Hardy. Harman Preet. Oh, Man Preet keeps possession for India as Australia look to win it back high up the park. Hamid into the circle. Ramondi, can he get the shot away? Still going. And Belts keeps his eye on it to get it away. Love it. Belts. More. Nope. Hardy still going. Nice work from Hardy on the reverse stick. That's a huge denied. And tackle and Hayward. On the left, Chimansana, Shrijesh, Ockenden, 
That's a free hit. Love it. Haywood. Dawson. Couldn't bring it under control the first time of asking. That gave Nilla Cantor the opportunity to jump in. Nilla Cantor's ball round the corner from Gersa Hibjit to Ramandeep. Ramandeep into the circle. He's looking for the run to the far post. And it's hit Gersa Hibjit in the end. You could see Ramandeep willing someone to go to that far post so he could play it across the face of goal. Look at that. He almost slows up. Head up, head up, head up. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And Gersa Hibjit had gone near post. Line change. Harvey. Away from Hardik. Ephraims. Nelson can't keep it in. I guess the question is Walker and goal. If we go to a shootout to decide who takes the bonus point. Shaman Preet back to Pinder. And she's down and stayed down. Okay, in time. Oh, the gloves a bit off the Lord Mayor's show, isn't it? Once you put the swab on, what might point putting them on afterwards, is it? Who knows? Ranger Lacra looks over the ball. Six minutes to decide a winner in this one. If not, we go to a shootout. Ball in, well defended by Harvey. So going in favour of Australia. into Howard. Oh, that's a deep cut. Oh, a stitch or two. Oh, Stop. Mitten. Oh, he's now pick something up. Can you see what happened there? Cut as well. Dawson. And hit to Australia. Let's have another look. Surrender. Oh, heavens above, off his stick and into his face. That two in two minutes. It's, uh, into his mouth. That's uh, good for Trent Mittem. Suzuki. Oh, 
Howard to Dawson. And good still from Surrender Kuma. Now Surrender Kuma with belts trying to throw him back. And well, it doesn't have the legs, doesn't have the pace, that's for sure, but he does enough with his experience to draw the foul and he needed a free hit. Alan Preet. I'm sure that was taken, wasn't it? And Harman Preet decided that he wanted to take it, so he stuck his hand in the air, and that meant it wasn't taken, apparently. Shrijesh, uh, before his afternoon, was done, his evening was done, that might not be the case. Going to circle, no touch. as well. Vivek though is stolen into still a back. Vivek on the reverse stick. Swing and a miss. Howard. All over. Vivek. Watch it. Yeah, no. Vivek going down before Howard got to him. Well, that was an opportunity for India. Just under three minutes to find a winner, perhaps. But doesn't look if that might be happening. Looks like we're going to go to a shootout unless something remarkable happens. Brand. And the deflection might work out for Australia. But Patek with a good clearance. Linsana looking for the back post and Vivek didn't gamble on it making it say all the way through he was expecting it on his open stick it went to his backhand side up and down Dropping into the top of the circle. And another screen can make anything happen. Raman deep. Ball through to Nilikanta. Nilikanta on the reverse stick. Good save. Tyler Lovell standing strong. Nilikanta with a chance to win it. Brand, Anderson, Anderson gets it strong, what can he do up against Amit, did that go out, no, play on, Ockenden, into the final minute, and misunderstanding with Beal, and the canter, coming inside, Hayward gets the shot away, but level. Perfect weight position for him. Didn't have to move too much to get that one away. Simranjit under pressure, loses possession. Zalewski, Simranjit wins it back. Really? Australia with the free hit. Zalewski oh, wins it back. Good work from Zalewski. Brand. In from Beal, looking for Zalewski, it's going to be a penalty corner. And here is the penalty corner. Penalty corner number nine, with 11 seconds remaining on the clock. They haven't worked for Australia yet today. Is this going to be heartbreak for India? Play on. No advantage coming. Haywin is taking the majority of uh, these penalty corners today. Nothing Rupinda can do. And he has to sit and watch Zalewski and Hayward. Who's going to take this one? 
It goes to Hayward. The slot and deflected away. It was Dawson on the slip. And we're going to refer this. Dangerous to me of India. No, but the reflect is a danger. Okay? Okay? Danger. So, last throw of the dice for Australia to get another go. Simon? Yes, sir. Asking for the danger from the defender's stick. Okay, I'll take a look. Yep. So, Simon Taylor was very busy early on. Hasn't been needed so much in the latter half of this uh, contest. Now, is that dangerous on Beal? Let's have a look. This will tell us. Amit Aridas has to move to his right hand side. Is that a danger to Hayward? This is the best angle. Amber? Yeah. There is no clear reason to change your decision. Uh, Australia lose their referral. Okay. So, no penalty <laughs> corner, and that will be that. We're going to go to a shootout here. So, is there to be one last throw of the dice? No, that is it. It's all over. It's a shootout here at the Kalinga Stadium to decide who takes the bonus point. Full time in game two between India and Australia has ended up all level. Aaron Zalewski with the equaliser right at the start of the final quarter, but there was to be no winner. It's a draw here. Final score, India 2, Australia 2. We're going to a shootout. So, Australia have been in a couple of shootouts this season already. Let's have a look at uh, some of the highlights of this match and the opening goal. Poor goalkeeping truth I'm afraid but Krishan Patak should never be beaten from that angle at your near post that is threading the eye of the needle from Trent Mitten but then three penalty corners in fairly quick succession for India the first one scored by uh, Rupinda the second by Harmanpreet it takes a deflection of uh, Brand the number one runner a level can't stop that one going in and that is a great finish from Zalewski to make it 2 all. And in between that, of course, we've got the two disallowed goals for Australia and the missed penalty stroke. So uh, lots of uh, things happening. That was an opportunity for Bubek. And then he gets this chance, which is well saved by Lovell. Final penalty corner. Nine in total for Australia today, none scored. Well, India haven't been in a shootout in the competition, so we'll wait and see who is going to take the uh, opportunities for them. But here are the full match stats. India with more possession, one more circle penetration, same number of shots, same number of goals. It's just those nine penalty corners, none scored. Very disappointing for Australia in that respect. So the first shootout, they lost to Belgium 4-2. Second one against Great Britain, they won 3-1. All right, there we go. So and to toss the coin. 
That's it is. We'll shoot first. Yeah. All right. Lewski opts to shoot okay. first. They start. Now, in the match against Belgium, it was Brand, Ogilvy, Craig, and Swan. Hey, Tim Brand is in the uh, match day squad today. In the second game, it was Swan, Wetton, Harvey, and Ogilvy. So Wetton and Harvey uh, might take one here. Wetton and Harvey both score. Brand missed against Belgium. Wetton's walking across. But it's going to be Beal who gets us underway for Australia. Beal. Into the circle. And spinning away. He's up against uh, Srijesh. Eight seconds to get the shot away. And he can't. And they're going to refer it. Okay. Is there a foul on Daniel Beal? Bill half expecting the whistle to be blown. And uh, Payton gets his shot away. Just have a look at the stick of Sri Jash. You can see Bill looking at Gohan Van Bunga, asking him to uh, blow the whistle. tackled by the Indian goalkeeper and Australia keep their referral. So it is a penalty stroke for the tackle on Sri Jash or by Sri Jash. And so Bill doesn't have to take the penalty stroke. But I'm pretty sure Tim Howard might, or Tim Brand, sorry, won't uh, come forward to take it. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Help him get back on the bike straight away. It's Dawson. He will take this stroke. So Dawson up against Sri Jash. They've already missed one today. Australia, will they get the second one? Oh, they do, but just Sri Jash guessed correctly. But Dawson had enough on it to score. Jesh unlucky. Just goes between his hip and his glove. And now it goes off the bottom side of his stick glove. Harman Preetz. Into the circle he comes and scores. No problem at all. Made it look very easy. Harman Preetz in. So Australia, with Brand will look to try and retake the lead. And another penalty stroke given away by Sri Jesh. Now does Dawson come forward once again or do they send somebody else? He'll smile. From Sri Jash, although it's hard to find an occasion when he's not smiling. So it's Beale. 
He's going to take this one. Beal against Srijesh. And it's away. So. Have another look at this one. Get a foot on it, does he just miss it? Oh, he just missed it. Much to the delight of the Indian side. Well, this is Vivek, the FIH Young Player of the Year, and he scores, and India lead 2-1. So India in the box seat after two attempts each. Nathan Ephraims, only his second cap. It's, he has been given the pressure trying to get Australia back in it, but he has missed. Srijesh gets his stick on it legally that time. German Priest looking pretty happy. Now here's an opportunity for India to really take a stranglehold on this one. Lalit to looking to make it 3 1 after three attempts. Lalit scores, and India are doing a much better job of this than Australia. They're moving the keeper quickly. Australia but laboured in their attempts. And now it means that it's essentially sudden death. Australia will have to score, otherwise they lose. And even if they score, it might not be enough. Harvey, who scored against Great Britain. Went third on that occasion, goes fourth on this occasion. And Harvey doesn't get it over the line, and it's all over. India have won the shootout 3-1, and they take the bonus point. Australia are referring this, but... Well, this is more hope than expectation. This doesn't go over the line. Fireworks have gone off. Kern van Bunga for me, spot on. Shri Jesh. Doing well, look how far he's holding the stick and he pushes Harvey wide. Three just happy. This might give away two penalty strokes in the shootout. Inside of one at 3 1. Lovell immediately asked to go upstairs. short long way short when the hooter goes been a busy afternoon for Simon Taylor and there's that hooter again Harvey would. Kuhn, can you hear me? Uh, there is no clear reason to change your decision. Okay. Uh, the goal does not stand. Does not stand, and India are confirmed as winners of the shootout to take the bonus points. And Australia collect just the one. And on the shape of things, 
India, I think, deserved that one today. Not quite as much zip as the game yesterday. A little flatter, but Srijesh does well in the shootout. As I say, despite giving away the two penalty strokes. And a disappointing shootout routine for Australia. With just, well, I was going to say Daniel Beal scoring, but he didn't, did he? It was Matt Dawson from the stroke spot. But the final score, regulation time, India 2, Australia 2. But it's India who take the bonus point. They've won the shootout by three goals to one. So handshakes all round. And, uh, well, perhaps the director knew something we didn't. Uh, focusing on Srijesh in that fourth quarter. He was the star of the shootout for India, always giving away the two penalty strokes early on. This was the first, Daniel Beal, and uh, tripping Beal up. Beal looking at Kern Van Bunga, got the shot away, then referred it. He almost made the save, but Dawson squeezed it through. Harman Preet had an excellent game today. Comfortable, comfortable score. Second penalty stroke missed after Tim Brand was fouled. Upstep to Vivek. He made this look very easy. 2-1. Aframs. He would miss. Good tackle from Srijesh. Lalit effectively making it to sudden death. Easy score, and then Jay Carvey got the ball in the net, but didn't do it in the eight seconds, which is what the rules state. And that gave India the three-one win in the shootout. Van Van Bunga saw that one immediately. Australia more hope than expectation. Sent it upstairs. Simon Taylor agreed with his colleague on the pitch, and that was the end of the shootout. So a disappointing end to uh, this match for Australia and uh, their to game stay in Bhubaneswar. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the post-match presentation ceremony for the FIH Hockey Pro League match number 44 between India and Australia. First of all, FIH would like to thank its partners, Hero Motor Corp, the world's largest manufacturer of two-wheelers, for being a global leadership partner of the FIH. Politan for being a global partner and Dream 11, Maplitics and Osaka for being the global suppliers of the FIH Hockey Pro League. Hockey India, the host of FIH Hockey Pro League matches in India, would like to thank the national presenting partner, the Odisha State Government, and the national partner, Odisha Mining Corporation, for all your continuous support to the sport of hockey. Please also welcome our dignitary to the presentation party to hand over the award for the Odisha Player of the Match. Sri Abhay, IPS Director General of Police, Odisha. And the award for Odisha Player of the Match goes to India's number 13, Harman Preet Singh. He will collect a check for rupees 50,000. Harman, many congratulations. First of all, you've played in your first three matches of the FIH Pro League, world number one, world number two, and world number three. Six matches, you won four. How proud are you of your performance and that of the team? Yeah, first of all, thank you so much. And uh, I think uh, our guys did a very good job. And uh, if, I'm, if I'm talking about the yesterday match, uh, we did lots of mistakes, but uh, after that, uh, we, we had a meeting and all. And uh, what we can do in the next match, we decide. and. Uh, we, we find the, how can we improve ourselves. So we did in the today, like I think we, we did good. Harman, the next match at home is in May. Now the team goes away. Will the approach change once you're abroad? Yeah, we have a few week break and uh, now we have a camp in uh, Bangalore, I think. So yeah, we have a time to, how can we improve like more? And uh, we go looking forward, yeah. Harman Preet Singh, congratulations on the award and all the best for the rest of the Pro League. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. That was Harman Preet Singh. I now invite Australia's Eddie O'Kendin for an interview. Eddie, it's good to have you back here at the Kalinga Stadium. Always exciting matches when you all play India. What is your big learning of playing India in these last two matches? 
Oh yeah, it's always exciting being here and um, I think we're very lucky to be able to come to India and play in this, uh, this kind of stadiums with this kind of fans and um, India are always a great, great opponent so um, we're trying to learn a lot about ourselves and I think these two games have, um, have been very beneficial for us. We've been able to learn um, and playing two games against quality opposition also makes us a lot better. Eddie, I've got to ask you because the big one is a couple of months away in Tokyo. The process to that, do you think Australia as a team is ahead of the curve, behind the curve or right on cue? Oh, that's, that's not for me to decide. I think we're trying to do what we do and um, oh, I think we're on track from where I stand and uh, where, how we're looking at it. Um, we're building and we're trying to get better and I think we're doing a good job of it. We're training hard so it's all going, uh, it's all going okay. Eddie, good luck for the rest of the Pro League. Thanks mate, thanks for having us. Cheers. That's all from the presentation ceremony. Back to you guys in the comm box. Yeah, thanks very much. And well, the fans are happy, as you heard, won four of six games here against the top three sides in the world. That bodes very well for uh, Indian hockey. And as you can see, it's a result that puts some level on points with Australia behind by just one goal. And well, look at that. That is a uh, very tight uh, table at the top and at the bottom. And Australia next in action in two weeks' time when they welcome Argentina. And the next home match for India, not until May when New Zealand are here. They're next uh, in uh, action in Germany. They're in Berlin on the 25th and 26th of April, taking on Germany there. Lachlan Sharp, uh, he has three goals. Also, uh, Trent Mitten got his third goal today. Rupinder Pal with his goal, a brace of goals over the last two games, goes level with Yip Janssen on five goals scored in this season's FIH Hockey Men's Pro League. Confirmation that next weekend it's just New Zealand in action as Argentina men and women go there. And the confirmation of Argentina's little uh, jump across the Tasman to Australia and uh, confirmation of that game in Berlin against Germany for India at the end of April. Well, that's about it from Bhubaneshwar. Thanks for your company over the last two matches. It's uh, it's been exciting stuff. Australia worthy winners of the first game by four goals to three. And I, for me, India doing enough to justify the bonus point win in game two, 3 1 in the shootout after it finished 2 all in regulation time. Last chance the fans will have for selfies with the Indian players for a while now, for a couple of months until the end of May. But so we'll be back next weekend when New Zealand hosts Argentina. I hope you will join us for that. But from Adisha and Bhubaneswar, it's goodbye for now.